Hey everybody, it's Brody Dolinick with Brody's Garage, episode 25. Well, the big exciting news is this, the engine and transmission are in the chassis. And if you recall, we got it in there, but the engine was sitting up a bit higher and a bit further forward. And the problems there were A, it was hitting the hood right about there. And I couldn't even drop my new radiator in place. There was just no room for it between the pulleys and the electric fans. If you notice now, there's about, oh, half inch or more of clearance there. And guess what, my friends, the hood closes all the way down. So I'm in a good place right now with that. And as uh, you saw, we had to cut off these brackets down there, those arched braces there that hold the motor mount up. That had to be cut out completely and it had to be uh, notched and lowered down so that the engine could sit lower in the chassis. Today, my friend Chapo came by. Uh, I decided to yield to him because he's the expert pro welder. And so we got those bad boys back in place. Engine is bolted in. There is clearance at the oil pan. There's a little bit of clearance around the rack and pinion unit over there. Not much, but everything is sitting where I need it to be. The hood closes, the radiator is in place. And if you check this out, it's actually bolted in. It's actually the first thing I've got that seemed to actually line up with the bolt hole. So thank you to Entropy Radiator for making me a radiator that fits. Uh, it required the brackets actually go forward like that and I had to use a carriage bolt so I had to run down to Home Depot and get some 5 16 carriage bolts so that they would lock in place and stick through. I'm probably going to cut off the excess threads there to clean that up. You can see here I dropped the turbos into their sort of permanent locations. Now obviously there's a lot of work to be done here. More than likely I'm going to chop off the collector probably right about there and as you can see the exhaust inlet of the turbine is, you know, not even close to being lined up correctly. This inner fender panel is going to have to be completely cut out to push the turbo outside into the fender well slightly. It's going to drop down and I'm probably going to have to do some wedge bending or, you know, piece, pie piece welding to get this to couple up with this down here. From that point, we have an even bigger obstacle and that is this clearance between the throttle body opening and the radiator. Not a lot at all. I may have to end up swapping this out with a Motion Raceworks uh, throttle body, which appears to be a tighter, narrower body, and it's got the, uh, the 90 degree um, Y pipe merged into it, so it's a really tight 90 degree radius. Otherwise, even if I were to take this thing and chop it off all the way to the three inch or the four inch diameter part, it's barely gonna tuck in there. So I would have to weld this directly to the throttle body. I'd have to probably cut off the bulk of this mouth here and the bulk of this and butt weld it up there or use some sort of a small thin rubber coupler. I don't think that's gonna work ultimately. I think I'm gonna be swapping this throttle body out. But that's where we are right now and sort of my temporary plan is if the turbo ends up in this location. The exhaust will dump out straight out of the bottom, this side here, and we'll probably have to exit past the power steering pump inside that frame rail and below that curved arch that's holding up the motor mount. So it's probably gonna pass right through there. Of course, I also have to contend with my steering shaft, which is gonna be coming through there. Uh, the other possible exit points would be to come up over the header and dump down there somewhere but as you can see there aren't a lot of options might have to go through the fender well but then that presents another issue because you'd be exiting right behind the rear tire there and you would have to tuck extremely tight up against the firewall now i used to have a 67 chevy 2 with fender well exit headers that came down back there but of course i had a lot smaller front tire than this so Will it fit? I don't know yet. I need to get some three inch pipe examples and try them out in different locations and see what's gonna work. But no matter how you slice it, it's going to be a tight squeeze. But at this point, I'm just excited that the engine is in the car. I may have to do a little bit of clearancing back here on the firewall to even get the engine back out because you know it's gonna have to lift up off the engine mount to get it out of the car. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to unbolt the mount itself from the plate and then maybe kind of slide it forward and up and out. That I don't know, but as of right now, I'm pretty, pretty jazzed about the progress that we've made. Engine and trans are in the car. 
I've got clearance to the radiator. I've got clearance to my hood, and that is a win, my friends, for right now. Okay, well, that is gonna wrap it up for today. I have to get cleaned up and get to the airport. I have a show, actually two shows, in Denver, Colorado, uh, with the Colorado Symphony. We're performing the music of Queen. If you get this message in time and you like the music of Queen, come down and check out the show in person. It's at the uh, Blah 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 Theater. I don't even know where it is. But if you look up uh, the Colorado Symphony on their website, I'm sure there's uh, information there. Uh, it's this Friday and Saturday, the 4th and 5th of March. And uh, when I get back home, we'll, uh, we'll make some more progress on the old Nova. Until then, take care.